hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is your girl adriana dc tonight i'm going to be giving you my 2021 wish list and that's right you guys i have yet another wish list and i have quite a few fragrances that i would love to explore half of them i have samples right here so i'm just gonna go through them and let you guys know you know which ones I like, which ones I plan on getting. So yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing my 2021 wish list, then by all means, keep on watching. If you guys are new, please do hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit the notification bell so that way you will be notified every single time I upload. So, I have my list, you guys, because you know. <laughs> so, the first fragrance that I'm looking forward to getting my hands on, or should I say add to my collection, is Forbidden Games by Killian. Now, if you guys frequent my town, you know how much I love Killian fragrances. And I'm just going to be reading out the notes for you guys um, off of my phone right quick. So, Forbidden Games has in peach, apple, plum, cinnamon, Bulgarian rose, jasmine, bourbon, geranium, honey, vanilla, and open axe. All I know, yes, when I smell this perfume, you definitely get the peach. Yeah, you definitely get the peach and the plum in the top notes. You get the essence of rose in this perfume. Yeah. Ooh. You pick up some jasmine, a hint of geranium, and of course, there's some sweetness from the honey. Overall, this perfume smells like a sweet, dry plum fragrance with the essence of rose and jasmine. You definitely get those in the heart, but the peach is starring. The peach in the, in the top is just blowing you away. Combined with the um, the plum, there's also some apple and cinnamon. So you're definitely getting that cinnamon essence to this perfume. Mm -hmm. This is a fruity smelling fragrance. There is so much going on in this perfume. I love this scent. This is far from a linear fragrance. It smells really beautiful. Definitely peachy. What comes to mind when I think about this fragrance is absolutely peachy. And I know that sounds um, cliche, but the peach is starring and done so well in the top of this perfume and then those other notes behind of it is just carried it off so beautifully and i'm picking up quite a lot of notes in this fragrance you guys this is a beautiful scent absolute beautiful scent and as it dries down i'm getting a hint of shampoo essence to it it's a fresh fruity fragrance but such a beautiful scent you guys i can't tell you how much i love this perfume i can't tell you how much i love killian period but yeah Forbidden games definitely have to be, you know, in my collection. So the next one we have is Liaisons Dangerous or Liaisons Dangerous. I'm not quite sure if that's how we pronounce it. But again, in the top, we have peach, plum, black currant, coconut. And I was quite shook to find out that this perfume actually has some coconut because I didn't know that. It has some rose, geranium, amber, musk, mallow in the half with some cinnamon in the base. There we have some musk, sandalwood, oak moss, and woodsy notes. Now, I also have samples of ooh, liaisons dangerous now let me just tell you how this one smells for me this is such a beautiful one now this here gives me similar vibes to good girl gone bad in my opinion you definitely pick up now in the heart there's an amplified sweetness i would say it's from the essence of coconut yeah you definitely get the essence of coconut as it begins to settle but of course you guys the peach and the plum in the top note, it is definitely standing out. However, I'm thinking because this fragrance has in um, coconuts in the top, in comparison to the Forbidden Games, the Forbidden Games smells more peachy, a bit more citrusy, and a lot more sweeter. You get the essence of the apple and the peach and the cinnamon in the top. The creaminess is not that present in the Forbidden Games, but in the Liaisons, there's a dangerous. This is a fresh, soft, florally, somewhat shampooy, sweet smelling fragrance with the essence of peach, black currant, and coconut. You definitely get a solid mixture at the top peach, black currant, and coconut. And I love how I'm picking up all the notes, you know, in this, but not all of them, but a lot of notes in this perfume. And as this perfume begins to dry down, what I'm getting from this fragrance is the ambrette, the wood. I'm not getting a lot of musk in this fragrance. I'm just getting amber and sandalwood as the perfume begins to dry down. Absolutely beautiful, you guys. One thing I love about Killian fragrances, his blend is so beautiful, so soft, so sweet, yet so impactful. 
so it sounds it smells like a light fragrance like that you know beautiful oh my god and as it dries down it is even more beautiful you guys but yes as i was saying <laughs> i'm getting excited you guys because this perfume is really really beautiful but as we're saying when it comes to killing fragrances his perfumes they come off really soft very light but very memorable the scent itself is always so memorable you guys so yeah the next fragrance that i want to add to my collection is also from killian and that is none other than rolling in love and of course i also have a sample that's one thing i love about cat about killian i don't know why you call it Killian. that's one thing i love about killian killian sends you bales of samples bales and bales and bales and every single one of them that come to the door i'm like yes 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 <laughs> yes okay so rolling in love has almond milk ambrette and musk mallow in the heart there's iris freesia in a base note tuberose vanilla tonka bean and musk you got for me with this perfume i get the almonds mixed with the ambrette really strong in this fragrance so you get the almond obviously yeah the almond the essence there's a hint of creaminess you pick up the tuber rose in this fragrance so this perfume comes off warm it comes off florally um yeah it's sweet yeah and of course the vanilla and the tonka bean you guys this is just beautiful this also smells kind of mature yeah it smells mature but i just like i find like it's a it's kind of different the amaret mixed with the almonds is just giving off a different vibe that's something that i'm you know quite used to and quite different from every other fragrance i've tried from killian so i really love this scent now when you smell it for me amaret isn't a note that i cling to much but it's shining so much in this perfume that it's intriguing so yeah this is rolling in love by killian i can't wait to add this one to my collection and i think this one has a red bottle i can't wait you guys because i don't have any red bottles in my collection so far unfortunately the next fragrance that i would love to add to my collection is from salvatore ferragamo and this one is rebel and i also have a sample of this and this took me by surprise you know what's funny i feel like i have either it's not deja vu but you like what you like i feel like i went in debenhams a while ago like before the lockdown or just before the lockdown or the second lockdown and i could swear that i smelled the salvatore Ferragami fragrances and i could swear that the one in the pink bottle stood out to me and i think i was a bit discouraged because when i read up on it it said it didn't last i don't know what it was or maybe i just wasn't into the brand i would i happened to get myself a sample recently and when i sprayed this perfume i was like oh my god how beautiful Woo! beautiful scent let me just give you the notes in this one so this one has in your pink peppers mandarin orange frangipani ylang ylang ice cream coconut and vanilla you guys and when you smell this perfume you definitely get the frangipani and the ylang ylang the hint of coconut the perfume comes off a little bit sharp there's a hint of citrus elements to it yeah and then as it begins to dry down, you get that creamy essence from the coconut mixing with those yellow florals. It's almost, it almost takes away the transparency of the perfume. So that's one thing I noticed about this perfume. I absolutely love the scent of this perfume. The coconut milk, it comes off a little bit. I don't know, I don't wanna, it's not really clawing, but maybe because when i sprayed it because i've been playing with these little samples you know so much lately and i was so blown away when i smelled this perfume i kept smelling my hands smelling my hands smelling my hand and i think i smelt it too much and i want to say it was a it was borderline a little bit climbing i want to say just a little little bit but provided you don't dose yourself too much but for me i don't know you know what other people can tell me provided i don't dose myself with this too much this is a beautiful summer fragrance with the essence of coconut and the yellow florals in it and this is a very beautiful scent you guys and i'm really surprised the price on this perfume is mind-blowing they are very 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 cheap so yes i definitely can't wait to add a full bottle of salvador salvatore ferragamo rebel to my collection what do we have next 
The next fragrance I would like to add to my collection is Versace Turquoise Blue. Now, it's so strange how things only appeal to you <laughs> during certain times. And I'm going to have the same. If you guys know Amy Glam, Amy Glam is always talking about this perfume. And every time I see her put out this perfume, I'm like, I have to get this fragrance. Okay, I have to get it. And I was actually lucky enough to get myself a sample. I have a few samples I happen to, you know, receive. And it was so strange because everybody says it smells... Okay, let me just say the notes in it first. Okay. So it has in lemon, mandarin, orange, and pink peppers. And then it has in guava, freesia, cassis, and jasmine. And the base, clear with musk and cedar. Everybody keeps saying it smells like, like pledge, uh, pine salt, uh, some fresh uh, cleaner. And that is so discouraging. <laughs> and then it said it doesn't last. And I smell this perfume. It is a simple perfume, but a very refreshing one. It is a beautiful scent. I'm going to have to say to you. Yeah. Oh my God. It's just so nice. So when you smell this perfume, you definitely pick up the lemon and the mandarin. The lemon is, is strong, but there's some freesia as well. So the lemon is combining with the freesia and the guava. It is a really nice combination to the top because even though there's a mandarin orange, it is not that citrusy, but yet it comes off um cold uh should i say um that's where i would say people kind of pick up the essence of pledge or uh, some kind of detergent or something like that it has that vibe to it but then it has the guava that's really beautiful the guava and the freesia mixed with the lemon that's what really you know it, it, it really is what's highlighted in this perfume and then you get a slight essence of the cassis in this perfume i want to say there is a slight green essence in this perfume i'm not quite sure what it is it's probably it's coming from the cassis but overall this is a beautiful scent when it dries down is when it's really pretty it is uncomplicated but so refreshing i just love the perfume i don't know if i'm obsessed with the bottle <laughs> or what and then you keep on hearing about the longevity, but apparently you can get a decent four hours. And it's like either toilet. I mean, you know, it's not much you can expect from it. But for me, I am falling in love with this perfume. I don't know why. And I do kind of get that um that clean detergent essence in it, but it smells nice because it dries down on the skin and it settles really pretty. I'm gonna have to say this perfume is actually a really pretty scent, surprisingly, you guys. So yeah, this is Dylan Turquoise Blue from Versace. So the next fragrance that I want to add to my collection is another one from Killian because I forgot <laughs> two more. And that is Woman in Gold. Now, Woman in Gold has bergamot, mandarin orange, aldehyde, vanilla absolute, rose, geranium, freesia, vanilla, acrylic wood, tonka bean, and patchouli. And let me just find one more place to put this. No. This is, I want to say it's somewhat similar to, um, just wait a minute. Find something. Yeah. So this has similar essence to rolling in love, in my opinion. Yeah. But for me, this is just a fresher version to the, the rolling in love. I'm here doing a double take because... <laughs> This perfume smells extremely similar to Rolling in Love to the extent that I actually thought that I probably picked up the wrong, <laughs> the wrong sample. I'm kind of blown away by how much it smells so similar. I don't know. Okay. Okay. So, right. So, these two fragrances open up very similar, but as they begin to dry down, this one smells a little bit different. So, like I said to you, the amaret and the almonds in the rolling in love is extremely prominent throughout the entire perfume in this one it opens up i guess it's the, i think it's the aldehydes that i'm picking up yeah the aldehydes in the top note it gives off a similar um effect to the the combination in the rolling in love but it is not as warm it is not as sweet it is fresher it is lighter there is a bit more um citrusy elements in this one and this one comes off a bit more powdery as well but 
but yeah i'm ex i'm extremely you know surprised by how much these two perfumes smell alike so i'm gonna have to say you know it's so funny that i have these samples here and i smell them but i still haven't smelled them <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna have to say woman in gold literally smells similar to rolling in love and i'm not quite sure if i want to get the two of them i don't think it makes sense i possibly don't think it makes sense to get the two of these because they're, they're very very similar so yeah this is woman in gold by killian another fragrance i want to get from killian okay i promise this is the last one from killian flower of immortality now i was scrolling through selfridge's website a while ago a couple months ago and i came up on this fragrance and i was shook i was like i've never heard about this perfume nobody's talking about it you know i think killian has so many beautiful fragrances so many gems all superstars to the extent that some of them are just like overlooked you guys Killian has a lot of beautiful scents funny enough i'm talking as if i've smelled this fragrance i have not smelled this perfume but this is flower of immortality you guys and this one is in a blue bottle and i was shook and i was like i have to have it this one has in white peach iris rose black currant tonka bean and carrot seeds i don't know how this one smells I've never tried it so if i do purchase it this would be a complete blind buy i don't think it's one of his best sellers i'm not quite sure when it was released but you know when you purchase fragrance from killian's website because i only buy from killian's website um he gives you a select amount of our selection of samples to choose from i have never seen this one in the lineup Someone needs to call Killian and tell him to put that list on rotation or add <laughs> the rest of his fragrances to it. All I know is that white peach, the iris, the rose, the black currant is calling my name. That is me right there in a nutshell. So this is Flower of Immortality by Killian. I have to have okay. that one. So the next fragrance I want to add to my collection is Neroli Portofino from Tom Ford. Um, right now I am on that Tom Ford kick, you guys. There are so many fragrances that I would like to get my hands on from Tom Ford. It's just I don't know. So this perfume it has in bergamot, mandarin orange, lemon, bitter orange, lavender, rosemary, and myrtle, African orange, flower, neroli, jasmine, pitosporin, amber, angelica, ambre, musk mallow. This is a lot. You probably would have thought I smelled this fragrance in Selfridges when I, you know, in my shopping vlog. I want to say there is an obsession for this perfume and I don't quite know why. <laughs> I think it's because of the bottle. Um, all I know is that this is a very neroli prominent perfume. It comes off eerie, citrusy, light and aromatic. Okay. But it is very strong and the neroli and you definitely pick up the essence of the mandarin orange and the bogomat in this perfume. Overall, to me, it's very beautiful, very refreshing. It is not a sweet scent. It is more aromatic. Again, like I said, Neroli is starring. And you get, definitely get those citrus elements to it. And it's eerie. It's a beautiful scent. And for some strange reason, I'm just obsessing over this perfume. I really would love to get it. The price point, though, you guys, dear Lord. Even on the discount website that I buy, that I shop on. This is quite pricey when it comes to you know um, the EDP as a hundred mil EDP, but um, I'm actually interested in getting the aqua again. Based on my research, these perfumes don't last that long either. Strangely enough, apparently the aqua performs just as not bad, but apparently you get four hours from the EDP, four to six hours from the EDP, and you probably get like four hours from the other you know, toilet, or should I say the aqua version. For me, I am happy to get my hands on the Neroli, uh, the, sorry, the Neroli Portofino Aqua and the body oil. And I think I'd be made in heaven. And you know what? If I was to purchase the Aqua and the body oil from the discount website that I buy from, it would still cost less than the 100ml EDP. Absolutely ridiculous. But i really do like this perfume and i've been battling back and forth trying to make up my mind i'm still not made as yet but yeah this is something that i would definitely like to add to my collection so this is the roly portofino from tom ford next we have velvet orchid you guys and i was so surprised to see this perfume the first person i saw this i think was rebecca Calazzo, and then i saw and from 50 cents uk with this perfume and that is the only time i've ever 
seen velvet orchid so i didn't even know velvet orchid exists now this perfume has rum honey mandarin orange bergamot black orchid orchid jasmine heliotrope hyacinth rose oil narcissus orange blossom magnolia and you know what i have a screenshot of the notes and i cut the bottom off because that's just too much notes okay good i smelled this in store it smells a little bit woody a bit strong it smells sweet you definitely get the booziness in the perfume you get some booziness some sweetness um there it is florally but it came off woody overall this is a beautiful scent you guys but it's a dark floral scent it is beautiful you guys i am shook to see how much time food has run on me like i said you guys because i had dismissed tom ford altogether i have not been exploring his fragrances and let me tell you something tom ford got some gems okay i can't stop talking about that but this velvet orchid is definitely on my wish list so that is velvet orchid by tom ford the next fragrance i would like to add to my collection is also from tom ford and this is the black orchid in a gold bottle I don't know what the difference is between this one and the black one, but all I know this is such a beautiful scent. This one has in truffle, plum, rum, ylang ylang, black orchid, and patchouli. You get the truffle, you get the plum, and you get the ylang ylang in the heart. This is a sweet, beautiful floral scent. And when I say floral, you definitely pick up the ylang ylang in the heart. It's not overly florally, but there's some floral essence in it, but it's a darkish floral. It is not as dark as the Velvet Orchid, but in the heart, there's something about this perfume. I want to say the rum shines through as well. It is somewhat sweet, but fresh and airy. You definitely get the plum and yeah, the plum and the truffle in the top. It is special in my opinion. I've never smelled a perfume with truffle. I don't remember coming across any perfume with truffle in it. I find this perfume, the, gold, the, the Black Orchid, in the gold bottle very beautiful you guys such a beautiful scent unfortunately i didn't get a chance to get a sample of it my sister felt this perfume was really strong i think the original black orchid in the black bottle is really 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 strong and overbearing i feel this one is different i don't know the one time that i smelled it it was divine it was absolutely stunning you guys and i really would love to add that perfume to my collection like i said i am just on a tom ford kick right now and i love 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 this fragrance so this is the black orchid from tom ford in the gold bottle the next fragrance i would like to add to my collection is sea intense from jaja armani you guys would have saw that i smelled that perfume recently blown i'm so blown away from that perfume i actually um i bought the sea passione because i went for that one first because i think that one is what was most outstanding to me but I don't know. I have a newfound obsession with the whole C line. I want all of them. Okay. This one. So this one, the C, the original C, or oh, sorry, the C Intense has in black currant syrup, Turkish rose, divana, benzoin, and patchouli. All I know is it smells sweet. It smells it's black currant dominant, but it has like a zing to it. I don't know what it is. It has like a beautiful zing to this perfume. I don't know if it's the divana in it. I'm not quite familiar with divana, but whatever it is. Um, you definitely get that super sweetness from the black currant. It's uh, it comes off like an intense because it seems dark, and you do pick up the rose. The rose is definitely there, and overall, that's what I remember most about that perfume. And it was such a beautiful perfume, you guys. Definitely, I, I this is a really beautiful scent. I really, really want to add this fragrance to my collection. Next, I want to add. C Fiore and this one blew my socks off. This one has a black currant, green mandarin, neroli, rose, patchouli, open mass, vanilla, and white musk. You definitely get the black currant, you definitely get the green, the neroli. So you get the black currant, the mandarin, the essence of mandarin, because black currant is what's starring, but the neroli is making a show in the C Fiore for sure. Okay, um, and for me, I got mostly patchouli and musk. I found it to be a lot more muskier, a lot more softer. The body of it was a bit more different compared to the C Intense. The C Intense was sweeter and syrupy in, a, in the middle notes. It was a bit more prominent. This one came off a little more softer. So yeah, I want to add that, that fragrance to my collection. I have been holding back on the C Fiore because I smelled C Fiore before. It just didn't blow me away. It was weird. And then I smelled it again in my shopping vlog and it was really nice which is kind of strange. I don't know. 
but yep so that's c fiore from the c the georgia money line next we have borea from tiziana terenzi i have been cooping this perfume for such a long time i haven't made up my mind some people say it's good some reviews say it's not but this perfume is just calling my name you guys so this fragrance opens up with the top notes of coconut almond pear and plum the heart is tube rose fuchsia jasmine rose and the base vanilla musk sandalwood and oak moss and all i see is coconut coconuts <laughs> coconuts and pears all i see is coconut pear and tuberose my favorite notes some of my favorite notes and fragrances coconut pear and sexy tuberose okay there's also some jasmine and some rose in the heart again i have never smelled this perfume so if i do purchase it i'm going to be purchasing it blind i want this perfume for the summer so i definitely look forward to get my hands on it and you guys you need to get yourself on those discount website fragrantica is life fragrantica has almost all i think probably all of tiziana fragrances on discount as in you can get the the stars collection for 400 something pounds which in my mind compared to the original price and the fragrance to bois is priced around 400 and something so in, in some fragrances from the um the bond number nine so if you can get tiziana terenzi the c stars collection for 400 something pounds i think that's quite decent i think that's i mean the price is not decent at all but if you really want to get it you can get it for me i'm thinking i'm gonna have to wait for somebody to send it to me just like everybody else. <laughs> so yeah this is tiziana terenzi Barria. i can't wait to smell this perfume um, especially because it has a coconut okay so next on my list is wild candy by mancera and if you guys follow my channel you know i love 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 me some mancera so this one here, Wild Candy. It has a fruity notes, chocolate, bergamot, and lemon in the top. In the middle, it has French Japanese, Turkish rose. In the base, it has vanilla, white musk, guayak wood, salt, and sandalwood. I mean, this comes out very fruity. It comes out tropical, sweet. There's some chocolate. There's some fruity notes. There's some French Japanese and rose in the heart. I mean, vanilla, musk, and a little... Ooh, there's salt in this fragrance, you guys. This sounds like everything and more. This sounds like the ultimate tropical summer fruity gourmand smelling fragrance and i like the way it sounds so next we have wild cherry from mancera i want this one as well i do not have a lot of cherry fragrances in my collection i do have you know back to black and um scandal by night and there's no other perfume in my collection that has cherries in it you know so me i want this perfume okay so the wild cherry from mancera has in cherry bergamot and lemon on the top in the heart, it has Aris, Heliotrope, Patchouli, Jasmine, the base, Madagascar, Vanilla, and White Moss. This song's like me. Quite simply put, this song's like me. This is song, This song's really beautiful. I did read up the reviews on Fragrantica, which are absolutely hilarious, okay? This doesn't... It's, apparently, it's not a very, like, cherry dominant scent. Like, it's not that strong. I guess with everything that's going on in the perfume, um, the cherry has been kind of, like, played down. Um, I don't know what to expect from this perfume. What I do know, I am very much excited about the cherries um, at the top note. The cherry and the bergamot and the lemon. I'm, I am assuming that it's a very beautiful combination. And Mancera fragrances are beast mode. And you can get them on this website for dirt cheap. So, yeah. I want Mancera wild cherry. <laughs> Next, we have Coco Vanille. And there I go with another coconut scent again. So Coco Vanille has in coconut, white peach, tiara flower, ylang ylang, jasmine, Madagascar, vanilla, white musk, woody notes. And after um, holidays, this just sounds like heaven, okay? <laughs> Coco Vanille sounds like heaven. I mean, um, holidays sounds like holidays, but um, Coco Vanille sounds like heaven, you guys. You got coconut and white peach at the top note have you guys noticed that majority of these fragrances having peach you guys love me some peaches but listen coconut and white peach in the top note i'm imagining this fragrance to be extraordinary okay extraordinary and then we have a lot of floral notes in the heart a lot of tropical flowers in the in the heart we have some tiara flower ylang ylang and we have jasmine white flower and we have madagascar musk and wood not a very complicated fragrance on note lineup but it sounds so beautiful and it's simplest form such a beautiful combination i cannot wait to try this perfume i think i'm definitely looking forward to this one any fragrance with coconuts in it i'm just here for it you guys i'm here all the way for some coconut smelling perfumes so this is coco vanille by mancera 
And finally, that brings us to the end of my never ending wish list for this sector, <laughs> for this quarter. <laughs> okay, you guys, so there you have it. These are my fragrances that I would like to add to my wish list. I do hope you guys enjoy, you know, sitting down and having a nice little chat with me and, you know, exploring some new fragrances that I would like to get my hands on. If you did enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure to hit that notification bell if you are new here. That is after you subscribe, please. Please subscribe to my channel. It really helps, you know, YouTube to know that you like my content. You're really into my channel. And if you are, in fact, into my channel and you like my video content, please do subscribe, you guys, and give me a thumbs up. Until next time, see you in my next video. Bye.